certain victory. Defeat is not an option. Defeat is not an option. And it's now time that we would give the invitation to discipleship. So, if you are here and you have heard the gospel preached today, and you did hear the gospel preached today, and you have not received Jesus.
someone here who has not received Jesus in the pardon of your sins. I wanted to give this invitation one more time. My spirit said to give, the spirit said to me to give this invitation one more time. If you have not received the Lord Jesus in the pardon of your sins, if you're trying to live this life on your own, it's not possible. You can't fight what only Jesus can fight. The battle is not yours. And so we offer again this invitation. If you are not in relationship, you're not a part of a church home, we invite you now to come and to be a part of this old ship of Zion called Bethesda. The preacher will take your hand, but it is Jesus. It is Jesus that we're offering you right now. It is Jesus that will take you through. It is Jesus, and he won't be critical of what you're going through. He already knows what you're going through. He won't be judgmental. He already knows. And so, if you have not given your life to Christ, God said to them, no, obedience is better than sacrifice. So we can make all of the sacrifices in the world in the name of God, thinking that we're making God happy, but what he wants from us more than anything else is our obedience. And our greatest obedience that we can give to him begins when we give him our heart and we surrender our lives to him. And so he says obedience is better than sacrifice. So as you, you heard, as you were urged by the, the messenger, as you heard from Minister Trent, if there's anyone here, you know that Jesus Christ is not the Lord and Savior of your life. Don't leave out of this building without getting right with Christ. Because that is the greatest obedience. It's not going to count when you stand before him. You can check the box and say, well, I was in church. I was in the building. God the Father is going to say, but what did you do with my son? Mm -hmm. 
Did you receive him or did you reject him? But God, I, 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 I gave money to the church. I took out of my 401k and, 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 and gave money when they asked. I, I, I paid tithes and what did you do with my son? But God, I, I, I helped the old lady across the street and you know I, 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 did, I volunteered in, in the ministries and I showed up to give out food and, and clothing. What did you do with my son? Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen? Amen? At this time, we're going to ask our ushers to come. As you know, when we have a guest preacher.